In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. In 2022, I'm going to redo that deck, follow my own prompts, but alter 52 playing cards in 52 weeks. I'm going to go for a little slower pace. This was the fifth card that I did in 2021, and I'm going to use the same materials and recreate it for 2022. So this is the recreation. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I have a very experimental, kind of explorative style that leads me into a lot of different medium and a lot of different techniques. And if you like that, please hit the subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. Here are some other places you can find me along the web. So let's get started on the five of spades. So we're five cards into the deck for 2022. This is the card that we did last year. Let me just kind of clean my little space up here so we can get to work. This is the card we did last year. It had the little fabric pocket with the little tag inside. I have another piece that I had pulled out of that art history book that I'm going to use. It was in my stash, and I've saved quite a few of those images. So let's use this one. I tore it diagonally because this year I would like to show the denomination of the card on every card. I'm going to scruff it up a bit with sandpaper so it will take my glue combination easier or better. And we'll get this one glued down. But before we glue it, let's antique it a bit with the vintage photo on the edge. And we'll just glue it right there so the five peaks. We'll let that glue dry and then trim around those outside edges. Need to clean my scissors off. They get kind of gunky from everything you work with and around the outside edges with that vintage photo. And I'm just going to hit it a little bit to just kind of distress it, age it. Now that's glued down. And I want to create maybe a little diagonal pocket, and I have a bunch of file folders left over from the other project I'm working on right now. So we'll pull one of those scraps and just cut that diagonal pocket by tracing where we want it and cutting out. And I'm going to cover that with these aged book pages. And we'll just fit that right there. I'm going to create a little thumb hole so you can easily grab something out of it. And I created that thumb hole just with a circle punch, just sticking it in slightly to create that little divot. And I'm going to create the tag out of a little rectangular piece of, of the file folder. And to get the side images, I just snipped off a small piece of my hotel key card there and used that as my template. So I cut that top of that card diagonally and then flipped it so that it would be equal on both sides, so that I could cut that so that it was even. 
And now we'll just glue on a piece of the blank page there to give us that same color as the pocket. And I also, you know, use my punch to punch the hole in. And now we're going to come back in with some of that gold fabric over the top of the pocket. I kind of chose the frayed in to be at the top. We'll cut a strip of this to use as the pull for the tag. And just reinforce that hole punch where I'd covered some of it up with it when I glued on the book page. I just re-punched it. And I'm just looping that over. This feels really plain to me, so I think I'm going to look for something to kind of dress up this pocket a bit. Let's trim this pull down so it is reasonable. And I have this gold thread. I'm going to take a few strands of that, cut them to the same size, and then I'll take the third strand and just tie it in a knot around the first two, and we'll glue that knot down. With just a small dab of glue. And now I want to cover that up and hold that in place with this button, and I'm going to thread some of that gold thread through that button, and then we'll glue that button right on top of that center of those threads. There. That adds a little more interest to the pocket, don't you think? Take the gilding wax, go around the outside edge of the card. Started with the copper, and then I decided the bronze might look better, so I'm going to pull the bronze in. Then go around it once again. Hit it again with the vintage photo. Going to hit the tag with a little bit of the gilding wax. And now to add just a bit more interest, I pulled out a stencil that is a uh, Illust uh, script, and I'm just going to randomly place some words on the tag. And I think the background is a little too glaring. I'd like to push that back a little bit, so I'm pulling in the gesso and just hitting it with some, my finger with some gesso to just drive that towards the background a little bit. And then over that dry gesso, I'm going to put some gilding paste. And I really like these descriptive words on the tag. So now I've decided to put them on the background. So I'm going to pull my pocket off, <coughs> excuse me, and go around, go over the background with that same that same script. We'll glue the pocket back into place. And there. I'm much happier with that. So there is last year's. It was in a in a white fabric pocket with the illustration from the art book. And here is this year's. Very similar but slightly different. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will 
follow along with those prompts and see what you come up with. I would love to see them. And I have the hashtag, which is whole deck redo 2022. If you would like to post your, your tags that you create, I would love to see them. And I thank you very much. If you have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate all of you greatly. Your comments make me smile. I try to respond to each and every one. Thanks again, and bye for now. <laughs>